Hi there, this is Kawa coming to you with some opinions on this upcoming week's events uh, for the week of the 22nd of November. So as you can see, we have a new unit again. Uh, it's Utakata. I'm just going to call him Bubble Boy. Um, Edo Tensei. Uh, he is not amazing. <laughs> just to put it bland and straightforward, he is not an amazing unit. He is interesting in the sense that he has one of the rare um, debuffs, which is the slow. But uh, he it's only a, a percent chance that he can do it on his standard, and his mystery does it to three people, if I remember correctly. Or it's if they're already slowed, they, he immobiles three. But because he doesn't have a way to slow constantly it's not a very good mystery i do like that he has a ignite chase though uh seeing that you know we can find poison relatively easily with our summons from the king of hell uh his ignite is good it, it puts him pretty well to go with his slow uh and you know he has his usual chase where he chases the knockdown to the low, uh, to the repulse, and he gives himself a shield. Uh, and obviously, he has immunity. Uh, but he is not amazing in any sense. Like, outside of people who are collectors, I don't suggest you go for him. It, there's obviously better things this week than him. Uh, we also have the new breakthrough for Orochimaru, Konoha's traitor. Uh, Nothing special about it. No one uses him anyways, and nobody still want to use him, even though he has breaks. But my issue really with this is, can we get some more the experiments, the skill trials? We only literally have two. We only have Tsunade and Sasuke. Can we get some more, like, that we could play around with? We I, I have a lot of those vials sitting around, and <laughs> they're not doing anything. I really wouldn't mind them giving us some more skill trials. But, hey, at least we're getting some skill books, so beggars can't be choosers. So, on to the weekly strong unit, ninjas. We have Conan, returning again. I feel like she shows up every other week now. Uh, solid ninja, for anyone who doesn't have her yet, they should probably get her. She is a mainstay, and if she's not tier 0, she's bare minimum tier 1. She does not fall below that anytime soon, or at all from what I know uh, overall solid unit no other unit really has what she has she is scaling uh, on chakra she has super armor and she has a uh, mobile and a high combo chase and she lowers her own CD so I would get her if you don't have her yet it, or if, at least get some frags of her if you were piecing her together since she came out you should be near to almost done by now seeing she's been showing up like literally every other week uh naruto sage of six paths i voiced my opinion on him before i don't find him that amazing he's a slightly beefed up jonin minato uh, if you have a jonin minato i would not bother with this naruto people always hype his lifesteal but it's really not that serious like I don't know, maybe in the lower tiers he's serious, but in the higher tier, we kill each other so fast that his life steal doesn't matter. He'll heal for, like, what, 2, 3k? It's like, woo? Uh, I can deal with Lightning Mane. <laughs> 2, 3k? That's, like, half a standard. He stays in the high powers. Uh, so, I don't know what to say. Like, outside of, I don't find him amazing. You people might. Um, but he's definitely not cheap. So, if you already have Joni Minato, I would suggest you not to go too hard for him. I know he's a six-path unit, and he, sh he should be amazing, but I personally don't find him that amazing. So, we also have Shisui. Um, he shows up literally every other week. I feel like he, he rotates with Conan, or sometimes he just shows up with Conan. Every other week. It's... I wouldn't even bother anymore. She saw he's not that good anymore. Like, he wasn't really that great when he first came out either. Because he's really squishy, for one. His dodge helps alleviate a little bit, but... Uh, but his mystery has three-round CD. 
and well it does do a two round chaos but eh, it's like one of those eh, it doesn't hit hard he doesn't hit hard it's not worthwhile the only thing he's worthwhile for is his barrier and barriers these days are being trumped easily by Kisame and Madara uh, Kage Summit so I don't know I I don't like him I wouldn't waste my time on him I know a lot of people get hyped because they see Shisui by all means if you're a collector go for him but if you're aiming to be competitive you can just ignore him you probably can get him 80 frags of him like randomly out of a box down the line. I think I scored him 80 frags of him on the Lucky Stars before. Uh, so for oh, which also reminds me, Con my Conan, I recently got 80 frags of her off the recharge wheel, so I will be four starring my uh, Conan. Uh, hopefully, I could I'll show you guys a Conan team. I don't think I ever made a video on Conan, so. Yeah, I'll probably come up with something for her. Uh, so the last ninja for the week is uh, Madara Uchiha, uh, 5 Kage Summit. Also, just like I said with Conan, a solid mainstay in the meta. If not tier 0, at least tier 1. Uh, maybe he'll slip a low to tier 1.5. Maybe, like he'll dip his toe in that area, but not really. Because he's just... A balancing unit. A lot of people like to say that he's, oh, he's OP, he's not fair, etc, etc. But he actually was created to create balance. He he is there to stop teams from relying on pure buffs like the Lightning Blitz team or later down the line. Well, it should have arrived by now, but I guess Oasis is delaying it for good reason. The I meta, where they just go buff and just stack all their buffs on the eye and they just go crazy on you every single turn. Ma this I'm gonna call him KSM. KSM is here so that he can shut down the barrier, take away a buff from there already, then strip you of all your buffs with the barrier. And then also give you a chance to CC lock. Well not CC. He's not even really even a CC lock. He just actually punctures. And he doesn't hit hard. He he has a relatively good dodge rate with chases, but there are I've seen times where he just doesn't dodge for crap, and it's just really sickening when he doesn't dodge for crap. Uh, he has a random targeting system for his standard, so there's nothing really OP about him. It's just his mystery. He replaces the barrier with his barrier, and then strips everyone of their buffs. It evens the playing field. It just makes people not willing to commit to an all buff team, which I find is a really good balancing act. He himself does not hit very hard, except for his like chase. But, eh, it's supposed to hit hard, you know, in order all defense and stuff. But he doesn't have any other damage sources outside of that, and I guess his ignite chase, but, eh, that doesn't hit hard either. So, meh. Uh, so, the new thing we got, which I'm pretty grateful for is we got the next ninja scroll we have the five kage summit scroll thank god i've been waiting for this scroll for god knows how long <laughs> i have so many ninjas from that that would most likely be in that scroll that uh, i i need a five star like i i don't know like i'm like off a few frags i'm not been pulling them in the treasures so it's a welcoming gift from them to give us another scroll uh it's also free power for whoever has you ninjas in there, it's just free power, so no issue there. Uh, so yeah, the new event they added was the ninja assist. Um, I'll touch on that when I get down there. Uh, total recharge rebate. Uh, I am suspecting Naruto is in here. I don't see why Naruto won't be in here. So for spenders who don't have Naruto yet. Uh, I think this would be a good time to pick him up if you really want him because you're going to recharge anyways so you kind of get the free unit with the recharge so it doesn't hurt um, there's a total spending rebate but I don't believe there's much to spend on this week so I could you would probably ignore this unless you find something you want to buy real badly maybe you want bubble boy um, I don't know <laughs> uh, Lucky Board, as usual, is great for free-to-play players. There's a lot of um, stuff that you can gather for free in there. Um, 
prices are usually relatively fair and everything on the board is worth some form of power but when you're at like my power point it's like there's like nothing in there for me it's not even worth my time to spend on it but I do do it sometimes if there is like Mount Miyaboku stuff in there uh, well my oils are up to like 200 each spot so it's not worth my time unless it's the new one the frog kata one then I would definitely do it for a bit get some of the frog kata which is free power and then collect some of the uh, free stuff off the board itself so here next one is time limited ninja recruitment nothing really to say here I suspect that bubble boy is located in here um, yeah just get him or get the power option that's in here that's the most I can recommend <laughs> uh, wheel of fortune uh, I personally hate this wheel I have a very good re uh, have, not very good I have a very terrible record with this stupid wheel there was a time where I did uh, quite a lot of spins I forgot how many I know it was over 500 trying to get Edo Daydara and I did not get no Edo Daydara it was very bad for me uh, but um, I suspect either Conan or Shiso is in here. Maybe Bubble Boy. And if Bubble Boy is in the wheel, then Conan and Shiso might be in the time limited recruitment. It's either or. It's probably something like that. I suspect Shiso is in the wheel, though. They usually like to put him there. So Conan and Bubble Boy is like 50 50 on either one of these. They, they will switch places. If one's in one, then the other should definitely be in the other one. Uh, the Konoha gift shop, um, I don't know, there's really nothing in here. There used to be really good deals. These days, not so much. Uh, you could buy, like, the Miyaboku training pack. I probably would. If your stuff are in the optional pack. If you have the coupons and your, um, spots are not costing a ridiculous amount like mines are. Uh, because those are pretty relatively free power. Well, it's not free because you have to pay for the items, but it's relatively good power. It converts very nicely. Tail Beast Attack. I hate this event. This event is so bad. <laughs> the it, it, everything costs so much in there. They don't give you a lot of points, and usually there's shitty things in here. You know what? I I, I think Shisui might actually be in here. He might actually be in here, or actually, oh, I forgot Madara might be here too. Yeah, so well, something's in here. Something, one of those ninjas are definitely in here. It's, I will hope it's not Conan. I will hope it's not Naruto. And well, Naruto's definitely in the recharge or the spending. So, and Bubble Boy won't be in here. So Shisui in here. Conan maybe on the wheel, and then Madara on the. Uh, limited? Maybe. Uh, so, refinement rebate. Um, for people who have seen my crash course video, uh, powering up, uh, you can skip this unless you have met the requirement I said in that video, uh, where you should not be going for it. Well, you should push your equipments to level 7, freeze it at 7, and then go from 7 to 10 all in one go during a time-limited refinement. The amount of refines you will need at the absolute worst case scenario is 1,300 advanced refines. They'll go from 7 to 10 during a rebate. Do not do it outside of rebate. And usually the average is about 1,150 I would say so if you have around that area you could go for it because you do get some back for the refining rebate here I think you get about, like 50 back something like that you get like about 50 back so you could take a chance if you have 1,050 but if you fail you definitely want to be able to purchase the remaining from either the grocery store or just purchase it outright with coupons to finish it up because if you let it go and you don't finish it, you lose those wish coup credits. And that hurts. Because then you're coughing up more coupons and stuff for the for the advanced refines that you would have saved with the wish credits with the wish credits. So avoid all costs of going for this unless you can definitely push it all at one go. If not, hold off and wait. 
That's my best advice. Uh, this ninja assist event. Um, yeah, I I don't know what to say about it. It's I I assume everybody should reach all these requirements already. Seeing if you have been doing your assist bonds, you should have them done at least. If you're to move one's level nine's done, or at least two to three of them at least done. Because I finished my second set already, and I haven't really been working on it, but I'm a spender, so... Yeah, I never actually spent on these, though. I just bought them from the grocery store. But that's besides the point. <laughs> I stayed very focused on it, and I finished two sets of them already. So, yeah, this is a relatively easy thing to do, and they're pretty... Well, eh, I won't say they're really generous with what they're giving you, but... It's free. It doesn't cost you anything to do, so it's free to play friendly. Nothing to really hate on. Maybe if they gave a little more, it'll be a little better, but it's free, so I can't really complain. Uh, what is this? Everlasting bonds. Uh, so returning players, nothing special there. Uh, Sakura festival. Nothing to say here. Probably Kakashi frags in here again. And yeah, that is this week's events. Um, yeah, so to reiterate, um, people who don't have Conan or Madara, KSM, um, if you, well, if he, if either of the two are located in a decent event and you don't have them yet, I will suggest grabbing some of their frags or just picking them up outright because they are mainstays. Uh, ignore the Shisoi, he sucks, he is not good anymore, don't let other people tell you otherwise, he is definitely not good anymore. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for this week.